Good morning. Today is September 15, 2022, and I have a really nice game for you. This is a game where the knight is jumping all over the place. This is uh, move 22nd, right? And the game ends 45. Look at the number of knight moves up for you. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 moves. So basically over half the moves. Uh -huh. Basically over, uh, mm, hang on a second. Okay, there we go. Basically over half the move is not move. So this is really nice. So like the knight is jumping all over the place and it's just take care of uh, all the opposite pieces and this is really uh, nice and like it reminds me of Hikaru Nakamura which is top GM number one or number two depending on how Magnus Carlsen is feeling that day basically top dog and he loves the knights so when he promotes a pawn basically instead of promoting to queen or rook he promotes it to a knight and I remember one game he lost because he promoted it to a knight rather than a queen where he would have won easily. So there you go. But anyway, let's get started. I have four puzzles for you today. This is the first puzzle. The black has just pushed the pawn to a6, threatening the bishop. What should you do? What should white do? All right, let's next move. Black has just pushed the pawn, has just captured the uh, on e5. What should white do? All right. Third puzzle. Bishop has just moved to b4. What should I do? All right. Pawn has just moved to F4. What should I do? All right, let's get started. First move is King Gambit accepted. Actually, this is like King Gambit accepted Fisher defense. So very aggressive opening by Black. Push that one out. Capture, capture. Uh, attacks the pawn so this is really like really aggressive opening really aggressive variation now king Gip, king gambit's opening used to be played all the time uh and the old days morphe anderson standards play all played this game well i don't know about standards but basically like really popular opening by white it makes a really high attacking situation nowadays uh, people would go so quieter like a uh, queen queen opening rather than king's opening uh, and i like personally i like modern opening like fiance to like b pawn and g pawn move opening really quiet really slow opening but <coughs> back in the days back in the old day king gambit is played all the time very interesting game next move Castle, castle, attacking the knight, attacking the knight, and puzzle number one. Black has just pushed the pawn to attack the bishop. What should I do? Now, if you recall, this is the knight is pinned for the queen, 
and stack twice defended twice so as far as con you know I'm concerned you know this is a winning exchange and you can see by the evaluation 8.3 over here and uh, that's winning evaluation by black by white you know for white basically and what I should have done is I should have done this I should attack this one attacking the queen the queen, uh, queen has to move and then bishop just get out of there or uh, you can take over here you know attack this one attack through so there are several different combinations the queen the queen moves away if the queen moves away over here no, pawn takes uh, pawn and that's check and you know move something whatever I block the knight block it with the knight and then pawn takes through so pawn cannot yeah so black cannot do that so you have to do it this way and then just move away or just move away either here or here or wherever alas that's what i did so <laughs> hmm yeah so i could have won i could have won easy but didn't make it didn't make it hmm. I wish I can say I want to have a good game and just play for equality, but that's not really true. This is mostly because of pattern recognition. You know, I, I'm, I wasn't thinking about tactics. I was, I was still in the opening moves mode. So, so it's all pattern recognition and I just don't see it. And Black text point, this is puzzle number two. And what should white do? Well, obviously, there's a free pawn over there, but there's also a free queen over there, so I should have done that. That's what I should have done. No. I should have just taken the queen. Nope, didn't make it. Didn't make that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, two chances of winning. Didn't make it. So, Free pawns, free pawn, and this is puzzle number three. Bishop threatening the rook, and well, there's two things over here, not doing anything. You know, like I have to get one or the other, right? So, so you see the answer to that. It's just this one right here. That's the answer. And what do you know? I got four. I got four better now. I can save, you know. No, I cannot. Basically, I just take this one up, this bishop over there, and then not that bishop, and then queen takes it. So that's what happened. The position right now is one rook with bishop and knight versus two rooks so going by points i'm actually one point ahead so this is fine uh, the pawns pretty much stable and there's only one so my tactic would be to basically take this pawn attack that one and then hopefully black will just uh, stubbornly keeping the pawns together and not do anything with them so, so that's the basic strategy, by the way. Anyway, let's move. This is interesting. You see, you can, you can actually have, you can actually do it like that. And that's a mistake on my part. The evaluation for you know for some reasons is points so I don't know maybe because if it does that not can go here and then not goes here and pop the rook so <coughs> so maybe that's why anyway that's very interesting but anyway that's a mistake on my part I shouldn't have done that this is 
a lot more putting that's all right so that's smooth number one that's smooth number two and you can see the nest just keep moving that's smooth number three that's smooth number four move number five six seven eight nine and you know like in like very short span of time it just move over half the time so like they don't just go over all over the place so really interesting really, really interesting game. and this is not the first time I did it either uh, I think my one of my older game I uh, showed you is like a, a far away night pattern I just go deep into the opening territory here the board is open there's not no pawn whatsoever and guess what the net just go all over the place the net rules the board with nothing in between so this is very interesting one anyway let's keep moving and as you can see over here the strategy was to keep the pawns back with the king but obviously that does not work so black is pushing the pawns over here and well let's see what happens now this is puzzle number four over here the pawn has just been pushed to f4 returning the knight what should I do? If you notice over here, the square over here lost the net fork. But the net could not have gone over here because, well, the pawn was over there. The pawn just moved. So, what do you know? Let's move the net over there. Look, move, fork. And that's the answer. Boom. At this point in time, White wins. Still play an extra move though. You know, just just to make sure. But, but once we get to this position, that's it. What black is up and game over. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.